Alright guys, 5 minutes to the open and I will show you how to use hotkeys on IB because a lot of people don't know how to use hotkeys and it's, it's pretty hard. IB is not made for day trading but anyways. So here I am in my IB and I have the charts I need and the chart you need is a, obviously a candlestick chart and then you have to have the chart trader enabled so that's important. And uh, then there's a handy hotkey called Control H, where you can see a list of things. Too too small for me, so I press twice, and then I see all the hotkeys that I have assigned. Thing is, sometimes he sends you into the configuration, which is like a parent file, but you need to be right here and. Uh, Charts and chart trader and hotkeys and sometimes it sends it there and sometimes not IP. I mean TWS is, is very buggy in my opinion and not the greatest software at all. So there you go. I press it again and I'm back to the parent file. Anyways, um, I'm going back. Charts, chart trader, hotkeys, and there's this my list. So I have three different kind of orders. There are all limits, limit orders, and a few stop orders as well. And um, so people are asking, how can I assign the position size? And you, I, I was looking for it for ages, but it's right here under customize. When you assigned it, let's just say, say for the sake of presentation, control I, and I'm buying something, and I'm usually buying on the bid. And then I customize and I take some click event, which I never use because I use the hotkey, right? But IB has it here and then I take an absolute size and I take, let's say, 50 for this one. And then you can assign target orders, you can assign attached stop orders, you can even assign the destination, whatever. I don't need all of that. I just need the size 50 ago. I say that's okay. And that's that. So I have 25, 50, 10. You can create multiple buy and sell orders and assign them to your needs. And that's how you do it. I do recommend having a bracket order if you are a cautious kind of person. And of course, a stop order for everyone. That's always important. So for me, it's Control X. And then you click into the screen first. Let's, let's just take the buy order that I just created. It will come into the screen and it's not transmitted yet. I have assigned Control T for transmitting it. I have also a stop order, but this is now sized on 100. So you have to assign a whole uh, a new hotkey just for that order. But sometimes, if this one is triggered, this one might not be. So, or if you have another order and they don't cancel another you have to assign one cancel another but it's much easier than that you can just i have assigned control one for canceling all of them and then i have this one and then i have my record order which pops up and then i have like i don't know i think it's 10 percent or something as a stop and as a target and you can cancel all and they cancel out one another if they don't get triggered and you can reassign them and then you can transmit them and they all are transmitted at once because they're sent as a, as a bracket order. This is how I use my IB and this is how I use my chart trader on the right hand side. Uh, you can use the level 2. I assigned, I assigned many times how it works but it's as I said IB is buggy and it, it just doesn't work. Market depth I said Hotkey would be, um, well, let's, let's give it a try right now. Why not? Mm, I said configure record control B like it is for the chart trader. And I use that and I click into the window. Does it work? Let's see. First, you can't sell out those ones. Let's see if this one. No, it doesn't work. So I signed out and my mouse out in my mouse for for those one all right guys i hope i could help anyways maybe this is interesting for you i have a free chart candlestick chart here because 
Uh, it's now two candlestick sets because I have limited screen space, so I have only two candlesticks here, and then I have this, and this is all you need really. The rest, like news, is no use on non IB. It's way too late and then negligible, and um, this is what you need really. And the scanner isn't too bad, and the scanner you can also add it to what you need. So for me, it's uh, price and then price again so this is how they work i have two more than two dollars and less than a hundred dollars because i cannot trade other sizes i don't have the money for large for large uh for high priced stocks and and if you if you trade in the penny size stocks you uh, they are very very volatile it's hard to trade and for me as a european couldn't find another broker that is cheaper than IB. It's just one dollar per trade, so you have to match the size to your possible gains. So it takes at least one to one to five, one five, one point five percent gains to just make up the commission. So be careful. But I couldn't find another trader as a European who is cheaper than this. It costs ten bucks a month if you have just about over two k in in the broker. And yeah. But anyways, that was around hotkeys. I hope I could help. If you have any questions, put them in a the comment and uh, see you later. Bye-bye.